guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, I am going to be doing a how to do a beam routine on a beam for beginners. Not for advanced and not for like intermediate, just for beginners. And you don't even need a beam for this, you can just use like tape or something. I'm going to be using tape and you guys like it when I do how to, so I'm going to do how to do the every channel on the very beginning. First off, you're going to stretch and so you don't hurt yourself. You guys already know that from watching my other videos. So you can do your pike, your splits, your butterflies, whatever you need. Okay, so I'm going to lay my tape down. We're going to fast forward it and um, make sure you use like a color tape so you know where your beam is. And you don't want to do it too thin or too thick. Make sure it's like about the same size as a normal. Okay, so if you are a beginner, you have to have a handstand or cartwheel in your routine. The easiest is probably the handstand. If you think a cartwheel is the easiest, then you can do the cartwheel. But to start off, you're always going to start with your, well, when you're on a beam, your legs are hanging off. And basically, you're going to hold onto the beam and swell. Here we go. You're going to swing them up and onto your knees. Uh, swing them up and go onto your knees like that. When you're on the beam like this, your hands right here, you step up with one leg that you feel comfortable with. I feel more comfortable with this leg. And you're gonna, basically, you're gonna, then you're gonna, don't push up on your leg, but you're gonna stand up like that and present. And if you guys don't know what a present is, it's something you do after you, like, do some, uh, something cool. So if I did a curve on the beam or something, then you would present. And present is pushing your, you're pinching your, your middle finger and your thumb and you're just pushing back and pushing your chest forward and chin up and have your back toe pointed like this. So you get on like that and present. So once you're right here, you get your arms ready to present. After you present, you're gonna take your foot. Some people might not be able to do this, but you're gonna put your back foot on, put your front foot forward, forward about like two inches off the ground. Put your hands, put one hand like this, the outside, and one hand like this. You also do this, so you have to switch feet. I like this. So then you're gonna turn, go on real big, and go like that, and that. So basically, it's called a half turn. So you go like this, put your foot there, and you make a beach ball, and you turn like this. Okay. So if you can't do that, you're just gonna go like this. So you're gonna put your foot forward, hands above, Step, we'll run, run through it one more time. Present, then turn around. Then, base, then you're gonna present. Here, I'll do it this way for you guys. Present, and then you're gonna walk, and you're gonna do jumps. So you're gonna walk about two steps or three. So you could do your split jump, your tuck jump, your leap, or you could, or you could do your kicks. So, so you could either do this, you could walk, kick, point and toe, kick, point and toe, or you could do your leaps, which is like this. So you put your arms out when you jump, split, and make sure front leg and back leg are straight. Or you can do your stretch jump, which is like this, and your feet are like that, you go like that, and you don't have to jump that high, you can just go like that, or like that. Or you can do a tuck jump, which is this, where you put your knees up high. So you can do either one of those jumps, or you once you present after your half turn, you can kick, kick, and make sure your arms are out like that. And once you do that, you're just gonna present. Okay, the next step comes in, and this is your handstand or cartwheel. So you could either do a handstand, and make sure if you can't do a handstand, then you could do a lever, which your hands are by your ears and you touch the ground, keep your leg up and back. Or you could just go like that. So you can go a lever, or you can go a half lever, which is like this. And the real handstand is like this. When you touch and hold for a long time. So I'm gonna do it on the beam. This is a real handstand. And make sure your feet touch, unless you're doing a lever or something. After the handstand, 
handstand, you're gonna present. And if you're not gonna do your handstand, well, I mean, if you're gonna do your cartwheel, then put the handstand with it. So you're gonna do handstand, turn around, and cartwheel. If you can't, and then present. If you don't wanna do your cartwheel, and you do your handstand, present, turn around, then you're gonna, oh, here, I'll put it, then you're gonna, then you're gonna step, step, present, and you're gonna do a half cartwheel. So you're gonna go in for a cartwheel, but fall off the beam onto the floor. So half cartwheel, oh, handstand. And then present, and then present again. So, um, and then if you don't wanna do your cartwheel, then you just do your handstand. But you can put that all together and I'll do it a couple more times in the full routine for you guys. It's hard to get on the beam that's on the floor. But anyway, you swing your legs back and you're on here. And here we go. Present, half turn, present, and then here I need actually, oh, I'm gonna turn over here. this video then I'll do that and please subscribe and like and I hope you guys uh, learned a lot from this video and I hope you guys got a lot of tips. Catch you guys on the flip side. Enjoy the video.